I'm here at Herco in High Wycombe. I'm in their showroom and I'm going to meet with Keith Hounslow and we're going to talk about the Herco TMM10. Good morning, Keith. Morning, Paul. Yeah, talk me through this machine. It's obviously a, a, a 10 inch chuck yep. lathe. Yep. Just tell us a little bit about the, uh, yeah, the TMM. Um, yeah, it's, the TMM is a driven tool lathe. Like you said, it's a 10 inch chuck, um, 77 millimeters through the chuck. Um, You've got 77 mil bar capacity. 77 mil bar capacity through the chuck, yes. That's a yeah. little bit different because most machines that are 10 inch chucks tend to have 65, so yeah, it yeah. gives you an extra 12 mil through the board. Yes, yeah, and the 8 mil, the TMM8 will take 65 mil through the spindle. Okay, okay. Um, all the lathes come with a tool setter, a part catcher, and a programmable tailstock from the quill. Okay, so the tailstock itself will actually be moved up the machine via the z-axis. Yeah, there's, there's a hitch that hitches the tailstock to the turret and then you pull the tailstock into position with the turret. And then the turret itself here, is this uh, looks to me like a VDI turret? Yeah, this is a VDI 40 turret. Uh, it's a duplomatic turret. Uh, which so, are, so quite a quite a chunky turret then? Yeah, the it's machine. a very strong rigid machine, yeah, it takes a good cut, turning and, and milling as well. So you've got full c-axis yep. and you've got driven tools as well? Yes, yeah. So how, how when you when we look at the range, so does that is the TMM, does the, the, the two M's mean it's got driven tools? The M's a driven work? tool, yes. We have a TM range, which are the just two split two axis lathes, TM six, eight, and ten, which are the chop diameter, six inch, eight inch, ten inch, and then there's a TMM eight and a ten, which are the two driven tools. Okay. And then yeah. So this lathe as a driven tool lathe comes as standard with a tool setter. Yeah. And also a parts catcher here. Yeah. So you can machine a component. The parts are then delivered into into here. That's it, into the part catcher. Yeah. But there's okay. a little bucket that comes up and catches the component as it's parted off, and just drops it into the. And do we have an example there. of a component that we've made on here? Yeah, we've got. Right, so yeah, this this is the component that we're making on the TMM10. It's a turn part, and then it's machined round with an end mill, drilled some holes, and then it's got some engraving on the component as well. Does the engraving come standard in the Herco control? Yes, that's a standard feature of the, of the Herco software. Okay, and, and that's a good point actually, the control. Herco controls are very popular, the Winmax system is a very popular system. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a conversational system, um, fully programmable in conversational or NC, so it will run full G-code as well, but it has this conversational feature which is unique to Herco, which enables simple programming of parts really. And so would you do programming offline or is the control you, as such so that you would actually do programming at the machine? Yeah, well this, this software can be put on a PC so you can program Herco Conversational offline or you could G-code it via a CAM system and put those programs direct into there and it will run those as well. And it's a PC based control? It's, so you a, can it's a Windows PC, yeah, it's fully networkable, it's got a USB port um, and it's got a hard drive on there, it's got two gigabytes of RAM and 60 gigabytes of hard drive. What about processing speed? I know I know when we look at five axis machines it's it's key. Is it yeah. is it so key on a turning um, centre or a lathe? Well not not so, but yeah obviously it's got to be able to keep up. Things like the graphics need to be able to keep up. There's full full 3D graphics on the machine uh, which are going to show you the part and so the graphics are very very slick. Okay. The so this is the component that we've actually That's right, this is the component you've seen today. here, yeah. Yeah. So if I'm trying to explore, as, a, as an engineer, as somebody that's going to buy a machine tool, I'm looking for a turning centre, yeah. what are the reasons, why am I going to opt for a Herco TMM? Um, well, they're, a, they're a powerful, rigid machine, a very user-friendly controller, and they do a good job, basically, at the end of the day, they'll give you good components, accuracy, you know, it's a good all-round package, really. Extraction of swarf, swarf conveyor along the bottom of the machine yeah. and out the end? Again, swarf conveyor comes standard with the machine, and I'm sensing that a lot of these features that with some machines you don't get as standard, you do with a Herco. Right, so we're yes. talking about swarf extraction, yeah. tool setting as standard, yeah. part catcher, parts all, catcher, all programmable features, quill. Tail stock, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. So there it is, the Herco TMM10, a sophisticated turning centre available for sale from Herco in the UK. You can see this machine on MTD CNC or visit Herco directly.